with Ron and what, what right do you have to write about these things? And it seems like there's often projected onto writers these days this, this question of whether you're authentic and whether you're the authentic writer for that story. And so tell us just a little bit also about Maza, about your, um, your family ties and you left when you were seven and are there any characters uh, based on true characters and you can say yes but you don't have to elaborate if you don't want to. Um, just tell us in brief what it was like for your family. Uh, while I was writing the book, my oh, when during during the revolution, my family, uh, my grandfather used to work with in in the emperor's court, and so things were very dangerous for us. And uh, it's one of the reasons that we had to leave, and we went to Nigeria and then to Kenya. I my own personal experiences during the revolution um, were very vivid. I. I for some reason, I, I could remember, I remembered soldiers, I remembered them breaking in, I remembered people I knew being put into vans and being taken away. But all I have are, um, my memories are like snapshots. All it is is a photograph. So I don't know the history preceding this moment that I remember, and I don't know what happened after. And it was part of the, the motivation for this book, was trying to put all these pictures into some some type of a historical context. But my family was, um, I had uncles who were victims of this revolution, but even if people in Ethiopia managed to live through this, I don't think there is one family that has been touched, that has not been touched by this. Um, Ethiopia, before 1976, 77, did not have in people leaving the country. Nobody wanted to leave. Everybody <coughs> wanted to be in Ethiopia. That's where our home was. That's where our family is. There was no migration out. There was no need to go out. Once um, 76, 77, the violence is get, it's increasing in Ethiopia. You see the numbers shoot up. In fact, before the revolution, uh, Ethiopia had a lot of diversity. We had Greeks, we had Armenians, we had the Turkish genocide. We had um, a lot of East, East Far East Indians living in, in Ethiopia. The U.S. had a quota for Ethiopians coming to live in the U.S. And it wasn't getting filled because Ethiopians weren't coming to live here. Uh, but, but so before this revolution, um, Indians would get their Ethiopian citizenship and then come to the U.S. And so <coughs> it's kind of, um, it's a funny story. But th this was the, the sense of um, Ethiopia just before the revolution, and when it hit, it was, it was I don't know, what it, it just shook everyone. No one expected this. Uh, my family never wanted to talk about what happened. So part of the putting together of the book and researching it was for you also sort of researching your past. You know? I, couldn't, I couldn't ask them. There were so many things that I, I remember very vividly. And I remember, I remember things to the point where um, I think I scared my parents because I was so young. But my parents, and especially my mother, denied all of it. No, 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 that didn't happen. How do you know? That couldn't have happened. They said, no, but there was this and this happened. And no, 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 no. That, and when I asked questions um, trying to research this book, I never got an answer from, from my family. It wasn't until after the book was published. On, a, on my book tour in DC, my mother said, okay, now I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll tell you what you should have written. And so that's, that's what happened. But um, yeah, so a lot of, this book is based on memory. I didn't research until after I wrote a draft. But um, a lot of it is also from stories of my friends that I heard sitting around the table. Um, and I, things this traumatic, and it's interesting that, um, Ron, that, you know, we, you, you were not a soldier, but you were able to write this. And just, I wonder how, how difficult some of the scenes were for you, because I, um, I think because I was not directly involved in some of the things that I write about, it made it much easier to write. I, and even then, it was a 
but the people that I would ask questions to put them 